over in the back there. Now look, I know, I know there's about a dozen different hands going up, and um, I'm just going to let this one here first, and then I want to then I want to make a comment or two here, okay? So let's go over there first. Hi, I'm David Willems. I uh, live in Wolseley. I work as a physician there. Um, I'm not a scientist, as my brother, who is a scientist, continually reminds me, but my work relies on science, and I have uh, great respect for science. I think it's worthwhile kind of looking to scientists to answer science questions, if that's what the issue is. I'm afraid of kind of the direction that we're going on our planet and in our country. I'm, I'm nervous, I'm sad, I'm very skeptical. I don't really, there's a big part of me that doesn't believe that whoever is in power, that we really will have any significant influence uh, while they're in power. Um, and the one thing that gave me hope when I came in here was the words that I heard come out of your mouth. I, I know there's part of me that is, there, there's things in myself that I recognize that I don't like. There's, there's a streak in me that's greedy, that's selfish, that doesn't want to do difficult things, and I think we all have that. I also believe that people who are in government, I choose to believe, are there because they want to do the right things. I, I think party lines get in the way of that, but I, but I hope that people want to do that. You said that if we really want things to change, maybe we need to have a very hard discussion about making real changes in our lives and what we wear. I can't remember the exact words that you said, but I thought it was beautiful. That we need to talk about some real changes, like what we're wearing, how we drive, how we live. It's going to hurt, and that's going to be really difficult. And I think what we're looking for from our leaders is real leadership, and not this middle ground that the scientists are telling us that we need something drastic to change. <laughs> try in our own way to do it. We all fail. We all struggle with the same things. We don't want it to be difficult. But I, I think it's pretty clear that the place we're at right now is it needs to hurt. And this idea of putting another pipeline in there just seems so blatantly obvious that we can't do this. And this competition, this false competition between, you know, prosperity and comfort and the difficult things of making the changes that we have, they're both important. We all want them. But one is costing so much on the other that I think we just really need to shift that balance. And what I'm hoping for, what I think everyone was hoping for when we saw the change in government is that maybe there's a chance. Maybe this government is gonna stand up and do some really hard things. Maybe they're gonna do things that are really unpopular and are gonna hurt and it'll cost all of us. But that's what I'm hoping from you. Those words that I heard coming out of your mouth, that's the conversation we need to have. You've got power. You've got a, a, a possibility of doing things that we can't even dream of. So we're looking to you, and we're hoping that whoever's in power is going to do that, not just for the four years that you're there, but for the future. Lots of pretty words that anybody who's in this position continues to give. We're tired of it. I'm skeptical of it. I want to know how can you make those really hard conversations that you, that you mentioned that will really make the difference. That's what you said. How can, how can you guys make that happen? And that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, I just want to take a moment here for a second.